This is why we do Iron Man. Days like this. The sun's out. You can't stop me from smiling. And I'm having a great, great time. How's it going everyone? I hope you're doing well. I have my first big outdoor ride tomorrow and I've obviously been doing big bike rides but they've all been inside and I have not ridden my tri bike outside in a very long time. So I need to completely strip it down, service the bottom bracket, the pulley wheels, I've got some new parts to put on which is always very exciting. But I absolutely love working on my bikes and I feel like it's just a great thing to know how to do because if you're at a race, your bike breaks and you know how to fix it, it just makes your life that much easier. But I better get to work because I got a full bike to service. nice fresh grease all clean probably saving like 10 watts right there <laughs> I don't know but it's good <laughs> so this is one of the new things I got and I'm super excited for this one it's a new armrest and it allows me to put a water bottle between my arms. The thing about this bike is it's, it's amazing. I absolutely love it. It's got that big reservoir on the back where you put your water. It's just kind of hard to refill during a race. So my plan for a longer race like an Ironman is to have a bottle between my arms and behind my seat so that I can pick up bottles from the aid station because that's gonna be really important. But I gotta drill some holes, get this thing mounted. Looks sleek, doesn't it? The nice thing about having to drill your own holes is you can put it wherever you want. But my like OCD perfectionist side gets so anxious doing this type of thing because if it's not absolutely perfect and dead straight, I get so annoyed on the bike. Because if you're on there for like four and a half hours during an Ironman, I'll be looking down the entire time and like my bottle cage is slightly off. No, we can't have it. <laughs> I gotta get it straight. I think we nailed it. We did it. It's absolutely perfect. I need to get some new screws so they're not poking up so much, but it'll do for now. I love it. It's amazing. Well, that is one very clean and very fast bike. Super happy with how the armrest turned out. I was very nervous doing that, but I think it turned out perfect. I just have a few more things to throw back on the bike. The wheels, obviously. I got a new rainbow chain. I feel like it matches the decals on the bike, so I was pretty happy to get that. But this thing's ready to go, so let's just hope I remember how to ride it tomorrow. <laughs> made it out this morning. It's a bit chilly, so I'm probably gonna start with a vest and some arm warmers, but the sun is shining. I got about 11 hours of sleep last night, so I'm feeling absolutely amazing. And it has all the makings of an amazing day today. And I am super excited. The first outdoor ride of the season. Let's get ready. Gonna be needing lots of snacks today. Choices, we've got big bars and good old trusty peanut butter bars.
So we're just about ready to go now. I'm supposed to be doing four and a half hours today with three and a half hours of it just nice, easy, zone two, base riding. And then the last hour is supposed to be at Ironman Watts, which we think right now is about 250. So we'll see how that feels after three and a half hours of riding. But I might add on, we'll see at the end, see how I'm feeling, but let's get this going. It's been so long since I've been outside that I actually just had to think about which side of the road I'm supposed to ride on. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Alrighty, let's get going. Oh yeah, baby, let's go. So happy! <laughs> I'm actually way more stable on my bike than I thought I would be. I thought I was gonna be weaving all over the place. It's pretty good actually. Uh oh, we're gonna crash! Oh my god! What am I doing? Ay ay ay! Let's hope my brakes work. Time for a snack. <laughs> One hour in, 22 miles down. The weather's warmed up a bit, so it's an absolutely beautiful day out here. Just gonna put my head down, keep ticking off the miles. Cows! What up, cows? What up, cows? Die! I know someone around here's gotta have some chickens. <laughs> chickens! It's not rocket. Oh yeah. Another one. Oh yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Two and a half hours in, 52 miles down, and I'm still feeling great. that's 57 miles down, just under three hours of riding so far, averaging about 200 watts. So keeping it nice and easy, it is a beautiful day out here. I'm having a great time, absolutely love it. So I think my plan is just to do the 57 mile loop again, which will bring me up to 114 miles. So a little bit over four and a half hours, which I had, but um, I need a big ride anyway. So I got about 45 minutes of steady riding to do still, and then I'll do an hour at 250 watts just to see what the heart rate does, how my legs feel after three and a half hours of riding. Cause that's supposedly we think gonna be Ironman pace, but um, that's why we're testing it. So yeah, just gonna take a breather here, fill up on snacks, get ready to go. I'm gonna head back out there. 57 more miles to go, just under three hours left. Let's finish this off. Three hours in, 62 miles down. It's actually starting to get pretty windy, which is not ideal, but uh, at least it's nice and warm. All right, we just hit 75 miles, just over three and a half hours in, which means it's now time for an hour at 250 watts. This might hurt a little bit. <laughs> the hour at 250 watts all done we're just about to hit 100 miles which means 14 more to go and man this second loop has been so windy I swear every direction I turn I'm like oh it'll be a tailwind now nope headwind every direction just one of those days so 14 more miles to go let's finish this thing off
Oh man, what a day. 114 mile bike ride, five hours and 20 minutes, averaging 212 watts. Get off the bike, run for 15 minutes at a 612 pace. I'm really happy with that one. So good. <laughs> well, that's my day done. Heading home now. Lots of food waiting for me and hopefully a nice warm bed because I am absolutely exhausted. But that's going to do it for this one. I'm sorry it was just all bikes, bikes, and more bikes today, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, be happy, be healthy, and be yourself. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. Oh,